So in order to run your samples on the DSC, you have to put the samples in some sample pans and uh, press the pan and lid together. And we use this sample press here. Um, take a look at it. There's a, a die set inside of the press. Pull this out. So here's the top of the press and the bottom. And it's just going to press the sample in the or the lid in the pan together uh, and make a, a nice seal. This goes up in the top there, and this one slides in the bottom. And in order to use the press, it's very simple. You just put the handle down. There should be very little resistance. So we need to use our pans and our lids. So I'll show you how to put together a sample pan. It's a good idea to use some forceps when you're handling these pans so that you don't get your, the oils from your fingers on the pans themselves. And these are aluminum pans. Um, they can be heated up to 600 degrees Celsius, but no higher than that as they'll melt and cause a large problem in the instrument. So I just put the sample pan down. And at this point, if we were running a sample, we would uh, put the sample in. And then the lid goes in, goes on top with the concave side down. And it'll just sit in there like that. I like to, to work with this little die outside of the press itself. And we can put the, the die in, press. And now our sample pan is pressed in here. We can use this little pokey right here, a little platform to push up on that sample pan. It makes it a lot easier to get the pan out. And then this would go inside the instrument. So let's now actually prepare a sample. So I'm going to take my pan. And for this sample, we're gonna just look at some indium. This is used as a calibration standard in the DSC. So I'll put the lid on and here's some indium. You can see the metal in here. There's, these come in these little pellets, um, which we don't need a whole pellet. So I'm going to try to break it apart using either these forceps or a spatula. Actually, this is a nice one. Yeah, that'll just go right in there. It's a small piece, but it is easy enough to break this apart. Take your spatula. It's very soft. Just break it like that. Did you see that? You can break apart the indium just by using a spatula pressing down. Yeah, there you go, a couple of pieces there. Okay, so it's a good idea to have a weighed sample. Uh, and we're just gonna use um, our, our normal analytical balance for getting the mass for our indium. I'm just gonna put my sample pan on there and tear it. And now I can place a piece of indium on the pan. I'll tell you what, this is incredibly challenging while making a video. There we go. And record our mass, 42.9 milligrams. Okay, so now I can take pan back out. I'm going to put the pan into the die. So we'll put the lid on like so. Let's put the die in, press, and remove the sample pan. <laughs> Okay. 
die in my press. And carefully removing the pan. All right, so now our sample is ready to go. We'll put it in the instrument and uh, calibrate with the indium. Okay, I'm gonna take my pan and place it on the sample platform. Just like that. And we can close up the furnace.